Hey, what's up, Kubro? And you're watching Computer Edu 101. Now, today in this video, I am going to give you the brief walkthrough how to install transmission torrent application, torrent client application in your Raspberry Pi to make your Raspberry Pi that perfect headless torrenting machine which will never crash and will perform to your expectations. Trust me when I'm saying this because I have installed Deluge Demon personally in my Raspberry Pi and honestly the f buggy thing keep kept on crashing every 5 minutes to 10 minutes and it was just too buggy. I mean you cannot create a headless server like that. You cannot just keep your torrent download in that thing and then when you open it up you see that nothing is downloading because the demon has crashed. So I have figured out a way to install transmission for ARM based processor in your Raspberry Pi and to get it working. I really had to do a lot of things. I mean it took me about three hours to configure the settings.json file of transmission but I finally had the victory. I had the final laugh. So here I am sharing these secrets with you guys just because you are my beloved watchers. I mean viewers. As you can clearly understand that my deprivation of sleep is taking effect right now. So the first thing that you need to install in your Raspberry Pi is sudo. Okay, let wait. Let me just focus in it. Uh, right, sudo apt get install transmission daemon. After that, you hit enter, and when you hit enter, you log in as a root user this is very important you do need to log in as a root user otherwise you won't be able to save the editing that you have done in your settings dot json file of your transmission client so go ahead and log in as a root user and when that's uh, when that's done cd to the folder etc slash transmission daemon uh, so basically you're just entering the directory where the settings.json file of the transmission is stored this json dot j this settings.json file is actually the configuration file of transmission application now trust me after installing the transmission daemon you won't be able to see any kind of uh, GUI thing in your Raspberry Pi so this is completely web UI based so just uh, let's not waste any time and see okay so the next thing to do is to nano S okay before you nano this uh, you have to type service this is very important if you do not stop the daemon service then whatever you edit into the uh, settings.json file won't uh, won't take any kind of effect. Service transmission daemon stop. Then hit enter, and after you have hit enter, press nano. Sorry, nano settings.json. Okay, now here are couple of things that I need to uh, tell you specifically otherwise your settings are not gonna take effect properly now you need to go down a little bit you'll get a thing called encryption turn that zero and after that go uh, okay for this thing you need to create a directory where your dot torrent files are gonna be stored so I have created a uh, created a directory called progress in my home dash uh, home slash pi directory. So I have provided that I have provided that directory for my transmission to look up and start downloading 
anything that is there and then uh, there is uh, another uh, then you need to so to make transmission to watch this directory for new torrent dot torrent files you'll have to enable incomplete directory enable because you have to turn that true then go a little bit down okay uh, no come, uh, come a little up you see this uh, download dir you need to change this to the folder where you need to sh shift uh, where you need to transfer the downloaded file to so that's my home slash pi uh, I have kept this folder because I have shared this folder using Samba which I'll be showing you how to install in a next tutorial to uh, remember to watch that then uh, go a little down a little down little down then you'll see something like RPC authentication required turn that false um, I'm telling you to turn that false because uh, if you turn if you keep keep it on you'll face with many problems with username and password trust me I have experienced it myself and it never works so I have kept it false so I don't have to go through all that kind of verification stuff if you do not feel safe to keep it uh, to keep it off then you can turn it on by uh, writing true then um, if you have if you turn it on make sure that this is true if you turn it on then uh, you'll have to provide your password over here you're you're seeing this gibberish number because uh, this is actually a uh, either SHA-1 or MD5 encrypted password I'm not sure what the encryption process is but this is the encrypted password and this is the port which transmission uses to listen uh, this is the application port basically those of you know anything about um, networking they will understand what a application port is and this is this is nothing just ignore that uh, this is a username that you need to provide for um, if you if you have kept your authentication on that is true and this is RPC whitelist do not do any kind of thing RPC whitelist enable turn this false because you do not want to turn whitelisting on if you do you'll have to provide each and every internal IP address of your computer through which you wanna access this transmission of web UI and that's pretty cumbersome so I, I prefer to keep it false so you don't need to uh, get any whitelist or anything after you're done press control X and then hit enter to save all the changes and after that don't forget to start the transmission daemon service transmission daemon start and then hit enter it will start and now I will show you how it will look go to your browser go to the internal IP address of your Raspberry Pi type in the IP address then type in the port 1991 and there you go this is the web interface of your transmission now for your sake I'm going to show you how this works I'm going to go to a torrent tarbyte.info this is a torrent website um, let me go ahead and copy the link address of this I wanna add a torrent I would like to add it using uh, using um, URL then upload and voila as you can see the download of the torrent file has started and this this download is not happening in my in this in this Windows 7 computer this is actually downloading in the Raspberry Pi which is connected to my network so there you go guys uh, this is how you install transmission into your Raspberry Pi and make it a headless torrent downloading server um, if you think that this video is quite unique and have been able to provide you the kind of support that you're looking in the bushes um, actually I have felt the need to make this video because I myself have been had been beating my heads off searching for different kind of solutions uh, different um, what should I say a substitute to deluge because deluge is very buggy so I made this video so if you think that this video was helpful for you please 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 like this video and if you want to see more of this kind of tutorials then please 
subscribe to my channel and if you have any kind of questions any further you know where to post that y you need to post that down below in the comment box and I'll see you on the next tutorial thank you very much bye bye